Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is my first video about beam management procedures in 5G networks. So why beam management is so important? The reason is that we can have uh, user mobility in a real 5G network. We can have a very uh, different radio changes, especially for millimeter waves propagation. We can have very strong quality of service requirements for different services. So that's why so many attention to beam management and beam forming procedures. Let's look at this uh, terminology. Terminology is very important in uh, such topic because uh, you should know and understand what does it mean uh, beam correspondence for example or what's the difference between beam sweeping and beam switching uh, we will talk about all of this we will talk about beam measurements beam selection and establishment uh, we will uh, try to define what does it mean beam refinement so i will try to make it as clear as it possible so let's start Okay, let's start with SSB organization. SSB may be very different organized. It depends on vendor implementation. It depends on uh, different parameters, uh, sub arrays, um, virtual and physical ports. So let's look at my example here, the 5G base station here. Um, we can down tilt for example the ssb with index zero we can in order to serve the nearest area under base station let's say so uh, ssb1 ssb2 and 3 can be a little bit up tilted so beams uh, will serve particular area in uh, such direction SSB with index 4, 5, 6, 7 can be up tilted even more and SSB 8, 9, 10, 11 uh, can serve uh, the far area in order to uh, give the service in this area and of course we can define that uh, SSB 0 beam uh, would be very wide and uh, SSB 8, 9, 10, 11 will, uh, would be very narrow beams because they will serve uh, the far um, area. So um, by this example we can see that we can define uh, not only uh, cell by the sector but also we can define by beams this is a new concept in 5g that uh, we don't only talk about sectors we uh, talk about beams as well this is very important to know and understand so for example uh, these uh, ssb indexes they will have a particular pci uh, and uh, this one will have another pci in order to uh, serve um, another area with another PCI for example so uh, this is very important to know and let's look at another example uh, let's imagine that this is our 5G antenna uh, we can uh, divide this antenna into multiple wide beams wide beams it means SSB beams here uh, beams in vertical direction vertical uh, wide beams and here will be in horizontal so uh, let's say this is zero first one uh, the second so on this is um, ssb8 and so on and this is SSB um, let's say 16 or 15 it doesn't matter just example 
So uh, this um, row of uh, SSB wide beams will, for example, down tilt it, like in this example. This row of SSB beams will be a little bit up tilted and the last row of SSB will uh, serve the far area, uh, the cell edge. And we can configure, for example, um, we can even divide further. We can make uh, SSB uh, 0 uh, very wide, but SSB 16 very narrow in order to uh, gain the uh, radio channel in order to um, gain the possibility to surf to surf a far area so let's move with another beam management aspects okay let's start with initial access and beam sweeping procedure let's look at my example here we can see 5g base station with multiple antenna array we can see 5G uh, phone, 5G user equipment and uh, base station transmit SSB blocks in different directions, in different uh, correspondence beams. This is in a space domain and in time domain it looks like here, it, in time domain we can see that uh, SSB blocks organized in SSB burst set and for different frequencies the number of SSB blocks can be different for example for low band uh, this would uh, would be four SSB block per one SSB burst set for millimeter waves for FR2 bands this will be up to 64 SSB blocks into one SSB burst set. So, base station transmit in this time SSB0, in this time SSB1 in, in this direction, in um, another time SSB2 block, SSB3. So, I want to say that SSB transmission it is not a simultaneous transmission. It is, uh, depends on time and uh, the beams, space division here as well. This is very important to know and understand. So, uh, this, is uh, this we can call beam sweeping. This is very important. This is beam sweeping. Yeah, let's write it here beam beam sweeping is when base station transmit ssb blocks uh, in uh, time and in different beams in different directions of space this is beam sweeping user equipment has its own beam for receiving and transmission information Actually, it can uh, has uh, not only just one beam, but another beam system. I mean, another panel, uh, antenna panel for receiving and transmission information. But let's assume this case. Uh, okay. As uh, user equipment, use special filters to identify uh, the best correlation with SSB blocks. In our case, this will be the best correlation with SSB1. User equipment uh, try to calculate RSRP, RSRQ levels of the best SSB blocks. And in particular, DMRS signals of PBCH PBCH physical broadcast channel that inside a particular SSB block so based on these measurements user equipment 
decide which SSB beam has the best correlation, has the best quality of signal. And um, using this information, um, using this information, yes, user equipment can decode from PBCH channel SIB1 information, SIB1 block. And inside SIB1 block, user equipment can find information about, uh, about uh, random access channel configuration. So user equipment now uh, knows how to transmit preamble in order to get initial access to network. Using the knowledge of random access configuration, user equipment transmit preamble, preamble using this beam and using SSB1 beam because, because uh, user equipment knows random access channel configuration. And um, base station, 5G base station, can understand that was used SSB1 for receiving preamble from user equipment because it was in specific time and in specific um, frequency uh, resource allocation. And uh, using that knowledge, 5G base station can uh, send random access response, random access response message to user equipment via this SSB1 block because um, it was used in previous step uh, while preamble. So uh, after that, uh, it goes um, RSC connection establishment and uh, so on. So this is very important to know and understand that even for initial access, um, 5G system can use beam forming. Or while uh, performing this procedure, user equipment can change uh, beam if it has such capability. It depends on user equipment capability. It depends on how many antennas and uh, how many, um, uh, how exactly it was implemented for such equipment. So uh, basically, in 3GPP specification, beam sweeping and um, initial establishment. It is uh, refers to P1 procedure. Actually, you can find more information in 38802 3GPP specification. Uh, such terminology can be used uh, for uh, not only beam sweeping, but also for beam refinement. Uh, beam refinement from uh, base station side will be P2. And beam refinement for, uh, from user equipment side will be P3. P3 uh, procedure. So I just want to say that uh, many things related to vendor implementation, uh, 5G base station uh, configuration depends on um, uh, virtual and physical ports, depends on uh, chip makers um, implementation. So this is very important uh, because um, even such procedures can be a little bit different. Uh, due to multiple beams from user equipment side or uh, from sp uh, s due to special features from base station side. 
But uh, that's all for today. It was my short lesson about beam sweeping. In my next videos, we will talk about beam refinement, uh, beam switching. We will talk about um, beam recovery and other very interesting uh, procedures in 5G networks. So stay tuned with uh, IoT Understanding channel. Goodbye.